Welcome to Science Through Rap. You're watching a stay at home science practical where today we're going to be producing our own pH indicator and testing the pH of items that you can find around your household. So, first off, I want to remind you that you shouldn't be doing this on your own. This should be being completed with a responsible adult who is able to risk assess the situation and hopefully take care of their own house, which is the place that you're doing it. So, first step we have to make the indicator. So to make the indicator, you need to get your hands on a red cabbage. So here's one I bought earlier. You need to cut this up into very little pieces and then put it into boiling water. Leave that on the side. You're basically gonna get all of the color out of this red cabbage and make a lovely indicator. So the next step is to make up the solutions of your items that you find around your household. So um, I've got four items. You don't need to choose four. You can do less or more. I've chosen uh, lemon, toothpaste, bicarb of soda and vinegar. Ideally, this would be clear vinegar, but I haven't got any. So to make the solutions up, all you've got to do is put a little into a glass, add some water and give it a good mix. So we've got our lemon juice, our vinegar, our toothpaste and the bicarb soda. And in the middle here, I'm just going to leave an empty glass and I've labelled it control because I'd like to see what colour the uh, red cabbage indicator is compared to all of these household products. So now it's time to test each of these with our pH indicator that we've made. Um, let it cool down uh, before you do this and then add a little into each glass. So first let's have a look at what colour the indicator is. Now I don't know if you can see from that, hopefully you can see it's a, uh, a dark, rich purple. So if any of these um, products make it go another colour, then it shows that they are either an acid or a base. So you can see here we've got a range of results. We've got a bright red uh, through to pink. Um, obviously this is our control. We've got a bluey color and finally finishing off with green. So my question is, why have these gone different colors? What does that mean? What's different about this substance here, the lemon juice, from this substance, the bicarb of soda? What are each of these types of chemicals called? Um, my next question is, there's something called universal indicator. Now, this red cabbage indicator isn't the same as that. So what color does universal indicator go in an acid or alkali environment? So here we've got the, uh, the vinegar and the color that it went when we added our red cabbage indicator to it. So my final question to you is, um, is there anything you could do to that uh, vinegar mixture to change its color? Um, and what colour do you think it might go if you did do something to it? So beneath this video in the comments, I will include an explanation of the results of this experiment. Um, once again, based at key stage two, key stage three and key stage four. So hopefully there's one that's appropriate to your kid's level of science. So stay safe, guys. I'll see you next time. Cheers. Yeah.